All right, folks. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at a new product or new to me product called the Tiny SA. It's a small uh, spectrum analyzer that is brought to you by the same folks who made the Nano VNA. And uh, we have a bunch of videos on that here on the channel. I purchased this so I could have some different type of test gear for doing tests around my ham shack. In this video, we are going to calibrate this device. We are going to do a level set and then we are going to do a firmware update. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. You're also going to see some buttons down here, like button, a comment button, a subscribe button. Go ahead and click them. It'll make you happy. Okay, so here's the Tiny SA Spectrum Analyzer. It's been sitting in this box around the shack for quite some time, and I never opened it up to mess with it. Um, it's a nice box. <laughs> so anyhow, let's see what's inside. There's some padding here on the top. Um, and taking a look, there's a couple of different cables. I want to take a look at the Tiny SA itself. Now, as you can imagine, this thing is pretty small. It has a 2.8 inch screen and it comes with the screen cover on here. And I don't like those, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take that right off. Um, here's your high input and your low input. On the top of the device, you have a USB-C connection. You have a power switch and then you have what is called a jog dial. This will allow you to navigate the menu structure and you can push it in to make a selection. Let's go ahead and leave that right there. It looks like it comes with a USB-C cable, which is fantastic. It comes with this guitar pick looking stylus and folks will attach that here somehow. There's a, there's a connection point um, to use that. And uh, we're probably not going to use that. We're probably going to use this stylus pen. Let's take a quick look here. See if I can zoom in on that. And you can see some information. I'll roll in a picture that I take with a camera. And then you have a female SMA to SMA connector. We'll put that right there for safekeeping. It comes with two coax leads. These are SMA male to SMA male. Let's go ahead and take those off and we'll put those in here for safekeeping. Um, and then you can see that these are SMA female connectors. It comes with a telescopic or telescoping antenna. And then you can connect this to your tiny SA to pick up signals over the air. Uh, one of the things that I've read is, is that the tiny SA can be subject to damage from uh, electric static, electrostatic discharge. So you do want to be careful when you're using this telescoping or telescopic antenna. So let's go ahead and hook this baby up and run a self-test. The first thing I want to do is I want to connect one of these cables from the high port to the low port. And then you can see the tiny SA has booted up. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on this any better. Okay, here we have been able to zoom in a little bit better. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to run a self-test. I want to go into the menu and I want to go into config. And then I want to pick self-test. And then the self-test will run. And it looks like the self-test ran without issue, which is fantastic for us. The next thing we want to do here is run a level calibration. So I get the menu. I go to level calibration. And then I want to do calibrate. And the calibration is complete. Now, one thing to note is, is that I can only calibrate the low port here. What happens is, is that your high port will send a signal down to the low port and it will use that signal for calibration. The tiny SA is not capable of sending a signal from the low to the high. Okay, so now we're going to continue our calibration. 
So what I want to do is I want to go into mode and then I want to set my calibration output to 30 megahertz. And then I'm going to return to low in. And then now you can see my 30 megahertz frequency here. And there is a marker indicating the level. The level here is bouncing around a little bit. I think my hand might be impacting that. Um, right now it's saying 25.6 dBm. To calibrate this to 25, which is where it should be, we are going to go back into the menu. We're going to go to config, expert config. We're going to go to actual power. And then we are going to do negative 25 because that's where the signal is. And now you can see that the calibrations are in white, letting you know the calibration is complete. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to check our firmware and update that if necessary. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is, is that after updating your firmware, it is a good idea to do a new self-test and calibration. So I go back into my menu. I go into config and then I click on version. And then here comes some information and you can see here it's tiny sa underscore version 1.0-39. And there are much newer versions of firmware. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that upgrade now. I'll include a link to this website below, but this is the tinysa.org wiki site. And here you can find all kinds of information on the Tiny SA. Uh, here's some specifications. It gives you an introduction, tells you about some other uh, videos. There is a first use page. And uh, this is the steps that I followed when I did the config and the self-test. And uh, I wanted to come over here to updating the firmware. Now there's a couple of different ways to update this firmware. And here you can see we are going to follow updating the firmware using a DFU, which is device firmware update file in Windows. So we're going to need to download and install this file, uh, DFUSE demo. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. I'm going to open this file up. Also, here is a link to the firmware that you can get, and it has the latest bit, the latest builds. And here you can see version 13-17 looks to be the latest. So let's go back. And here we're going to use a DFU file. So when I go here, I'm going to download this file for the update. So to download the installation software, I click this link. And it takes me to this website, st.com. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get software. And there is a license agreement, which I'm going to accept. And I have to fill out some information here, and I'm going to block this out. And then uh, I'm going to come back and show the software running. Okay, so I have the software running. And here I have the STM device in DFU mode. And that is the only available device that I have. So what I want to do is I want to come down here to upgrade or verify action. And I'm going to click verify after download. And now I'm going to choose my DFU file. So I browse to the directory where I downloaded the file and it's here. I highlight that and I click open. Now it says the file is correctly loaded. The next thing I want to do is I want to click upgrade. Your device is plugged in in DFU mode. So if it's possible to make sure that this file is correct for this device, continue however. It is the correct file, so I'm going to continue. I'm always nervous when this happens. And we're just about done. And it's been verified as successful. So I'm going to quit and then we're going to go back to the tiny SA and we're going to check the firmware version. And it boots up. And as you can see, these are in red because we need to go back and do our, our level set and our calibration again. Anyhow, let's just go ahead and open up the menu. And I'm going to go to config. And then I'm going to go to version. And then here you can see the new version number is 1.3-17. And it looks like our update was successful. 
At this point, I want to thank everybody for watching, uh, for playing along. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks, everybody.